Music plays a substantial role in creative process. As you know, your heartbeat gives you rhythm, and it's aligned with the waves in the ocean. You understand? And the waves of the ocean are aligned with the moon. So your heartbeat is aligned with the moon and the gravity of the earth. So the music is a reflection of natural rhythms, okay? So here's rhythm, bang, 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 bang. This is energy of Gaia tree, okay? So this is Gaia tree, and this time it's less of a tree, thank God. My girlfriend pointed this out. I've been doing fucking trees for five years. Well, three. Uh, so she becomes patterns, okay? So it's not a tree anymore. It's patterns, patterns of leaves. Doesn't have to be fucking leaves, it can be dots. A uh, human on his knees in front of the love, God's light penetrating here and there, but everywhere, you understand? Breaking the pattern. Pandora's box paradox like an octopus. So music, especially Bach music for me, oh, the more primitive, the better. Because primitive music like African drums, Caribbean drums, they really get into it. But so is Inuit music. It's, it's really about trance and meditation. People chant as they make music. Glenn Gold, Bach, uh, uh, Glenn Gold, pianist, uh, was chanting as he was playing Bach. You understand? So I'm trying to say that Music plays in my head when I'm drawing, when I don't have music. So this is why I like to put a music background to show you uh, Requiem by Mozart, for instance, or Beethoven, Fifth Symphony, Seventh, Ninth Symphony, because my drawings are like like Requiem. What is what is Requiem? This is like goodbye. Thank you very much. You lived your life on this earth. And this is music to explain human condition. That's what Mozart Requiem is. It's a masterpiece explaining complexity of human destiny and misfortunes and God and love and struggle and DNA. You understand? And dice, cosmic dice of destiny. So this is ocean of destiny I created, okay? And those are dice. So it's like in Latin ancient saying, your dice has been tossed. In my opinion, my destiny was set because of my DNA and because of politics and history of the universe. My mother met my father and she got pregnant and I was born. So this destiny actually was calculated billions of years ago. At the beginning of organic life, my destiny was already set up. This is what I say. However, God doesn't know the future. That's why God creates the universe every millisecond of its existence. Because God wants to see what the motherfuckers are going to do on earth. Okay? These are the most complex organisms. We're the most complex. We don't, we're not necessarily the smartest, but the most complex, okay, complexity. The universe starts with simplicity, and it becomes complexity. By the time universe created planets, it was already so fucking complex. So at, at this time, uh, 13 billion years into the universe, we have organic cells that are as complicated as the function of the whole country you understand? Export, import, exchange of energy. You understand? This is just fucking unbelievable complexity of this universe. And here I am trying to make sense out of my own life. Love, God, Pandora. I, you know, I, uh, so the whole universe is made out of rhythms. You understand? The whole universe is a quantum vibration variation. And this is why in drawing in particular, not in painting, but also in painting, but in drawing in particular, rhythm should be emphasized. You understand? Because this is the, 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 very, the very existence of the universe in Hinduism is Aum, Aum. So the music is just different vibration of the universe, very pleasant to your soul, okay? So this is what music does to me. I don't need... Poetry is a different ballgame. It touches different part of the brain, actually. Spoken language reaches out different part of the brain than music. You understand?